Section 6.4, exponential and logarithmic models. So, exponential models. Um, exponential growth and decay is in the form of p to the t equals p sub 0, e to the kt. So, p sub 0, we call our initial amount. That'll be some sort of starting amount. t will be time. And k is called a growth rate per time. So if my time is in years, it should be per year. If my time is in days, it'll be per days. Um, when k is positive, we call it gro growth or exponential decay, exponential growth. Versus a negative k will be decay. So something decreasing. So let's check out some examples to do this. So example one, in 2010, according to the 2010 census, the U.S. population was 309 million with an estimated growth rate of 0.8% per year. So let's find the doubling time. So first we need to find an exponential equation. So anytime something grows at a percent per year, that's exponential. It's percent growth. Um, linear is not percent growth. Linear is increasing by five people per year or three people per year. Um, but as soon as I change it to a percent, it's an exponential equation. So our growth rate is 0.8% which means my k is actually going to be in decimal form, so 0 0.008. Move that decimal 2 to the left. We'll always convert percents to decimal. What else do we know? We know t is in years, because it's per year. We don't know t, but t is in years. And then it looks like maybe 309 million would be my P0, my starting amount. So I'll do 309 and just remind myself that it's measured in millions. So it looks like we can set up the equation. So my exponential equation will be P of T equals 309 times E to the 0 0.008 T. And we'll use this to find doubling time. So what would doubling mean? So when does the population double? So T is unknown. So we're gonna leave the right side as 309 e to the point zero zero eight T. And we're going to set it equal to double. So double that initial amount. So we'll do 2 times 309. Um, I could multiply. And if we do 2 times 309, we find that it's 618. But I don't really need to do that. So let me show you why. So if we divide both sides by 309, divide by 309, they just cancel out. And we're just left with 2. So I never really needed to actually multiply. And then we have an exponential equation where the bases don't match. E and 2 are different bases. So we take the ln of both sides. So maybe you want to practice 6-3 a little bit more before you continue this video, um, or you feel good about solving, and we keep going. So we'll say ln of 2 equals ln of e to the 0 0.008t. And remember, we did this because it brings the powers out front. So we get ln of 2 equals 0 0.008t times ln of e. So the special property of logs is that property comes out front. And we're almost done. And you want to remember what ln of e is. They cancel each other out. It's just 1. So we get ln of 2 equals 0 0.008t. 
and we can just divide both sides by 0 0.008 to solve. And we get ln of 2. This is my exact answer. But since we're doing an application, it's nice to find the approximate divided by 0 0.008. And so we get about 86.6 years. So according to this model in to, from 2010, it only takes 86 years for the population of the U.S. to double, which that's a lot of people. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, hopefully the rate changes. So it's assuming the rate changes, stays the same every year. But that means by, what, 2090? By 2096, this predicts that the U.S. will have, um, what, like 600, 309 times 2, 618 million people. That's a lot of people. Um, but that's if the growth rate stays the same, which it may or may not change, stay the same. right? Model, these models are assuming it's the same thing every year. Let's try another example. So example two, after two hours, the number of bacteria in a culture is observed to have doubled. And so let's find the time it takes to grow to 20 times its size. So right, we probably remember bacteria grows really fast. So let's find the exponential equation first and then we'll figure out how long for 20. So anything that's multiplying is exponential. Um, linear is adding. Adding or subtracting every year, every time, right? Exponential is multiplying per time. Percents are multiplying per time. So because we multiply, right, we times by two every hour, every two hours, it makes it exponential. So I'm going to set up a table. We don't know the growth rate on this time, this one. So what does this tell us? So we're going to do time and amount. So I'm going to have some starting amount. I'll call it A for amount. It doesn't matter. But I know two hours later, it doubles. So at time two, we have 2A. So even though I don't know what A is, we can solve this. So we're going to use the exponential equation. So P of T is P0 e to the KT. And so we're going to try to figure out what K is. So when the growth rate isn't given, we need to solve for the growth rate. So I'm going to use this new point to find that. So we know 2A. I know the initial amount is a equals e to the k, and time will be 2. So we're plugging in the doubling after 2 hours to find k. We don't know what a is, but when we divide both sides by a, we never see a again, so that's fine. So 2 equals e to the 2k. We just learned we can solve this by taking the ln of both sides. So ln of 2 equals ln of e to the 2k. The 2k comes out front. And ln of e is 1. So k is just ln of 2 over 2. So I usually leave it exact. Um, it is more accurate exact, but you could approximate it if you want. But I'm going to leave it exact. It'll make our answer more appropriate, more exact. So P of T equals A for my initial amount, E to the ln of 2 over 2 times T. If it just drives you crazy, um, just do at least four decimal places or so for K. Um, don't round to like one or two. Keep a little bit more. So then the question is how long to double 
or to do 20 times. So 20 times its initial size would be 20A. So we'll set it equal to 20A. And solve for the time, because it says find the time. So we'll solve for time. So again, we don't know A, which is fine, because we divide by A and it goes away. So 20 equals e to the ln of 2 over 2 times t. I'm going to go ahead and take the ln of 20 and the ln of all that. So ln of e to the ln 2 over 2 times t. And maybe we're even noticing we can just immediately cross out ln e and the powers left. So ln of 20 equals ln of 2 over 2 times t. So we're just getting more practice with solving those exponential equations, just while adding a little bit extra. And so I will just multiply by the reciprocal. So 2 ln 2, 2 over ln 2. So that's my exact answer. Um, but let's approximate because it's an application. So we get 2 times ln of 20 over ln of 2. And so it will take about 8.6 hours, because we're talking about hours in this one, to become 20 times the size. Initial size. So bacteria grows pretty fast, right? So it only takes 8.6 hours to be 20 times as big.